Hey guys, just a couple quick tips for you on uh, tuning up your frogs. So first thing, uh, you know, a lot of people uh, that get into frog fishing, uh, just start frog fishing. Um, <clears throat> a lot of times I hear people saying like, I'm having trouble, you know, I'm getting, I'm getting hits. I can't get them on the hook. Um, it's a common thing. We, we see a lot, you know, people just starting out. Um, have an issue, you know, getting those hook sets and there's a lot you can do with rods and line and all that stuff But the easiest one to me in my mind is tuning up your frog hooks So just a couple quick tips show you how to do it today. I got a tackle honker frog I'm gonna show you how to do this. This is uh, one of my one of my favorite frogs right now um, it Really seems to be getting a lot of bites um, So, you know one of the big things if you pull one of these guys like right out of the box um, you're gonna see, you know, like the hooks are set, you know, below the level of the body. So, you know, a lot of people look at you know, how soft the frog is and the compression that you get. Um, but honestly, I, I think a lot of times when a, a bass or a snakehead bites one of these, they're taking it in their mouth, they're not really pressing down right here to get those hooks exposed. So I like to bend them up just a little bit. Um, to get a better hook set, get those hooks where they need to go in the fish's mouth, um, <clears throat> and help you bring that fish back to the boat. Um, so two things I like to do, I like to bend the hook up this way. I also like to bend it out a little bit this way. Um, so let me show you. So like I said, our, our hooks are parallel right now. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna bend them up a little bit. And one of the things I'm going to tell you right off that's great about these um, tackle frogs is they have really, really stout hooks on them. Real great, real great hooks, really nice and sharp. <clears throat> but like I said, you got to bend them out a little bit to uh, get them where they need to go. So, all right, so you can see it's not real easy. You got to kind of work at it. So, all right, so starting to see they're going up a little bit here and again you don't want to over bend it you don't want to bend it out so much that it's catching you know everything and I'm gonna bend them out a little bit bending them this way and sometimes that's the one the bending them out is actually the one that to me makes the biggest difference um, there we go Again, it's just a fine tooth. Sometimes you bend them out a little too much, you just bend them back. It's really not a big deal. Um, all right, so what I'm looking at here is I do want to see a little bit of space right here between the frog body and the edge of the hook. You can kind of see that on both sides. Um, the other thing you can do to test is I kind of pretend my hand is a fish's mouth. All right, and I'm just going to clamp down on that. And if I can pull it through my hand, Without a hook kind of catching my skin, then I need to bend them out a little bit more. So this one right now, if I just pull it out like that, I can, I'm starting to see like, you know, it's kind of hanging on my skin a little bit. Um, and that's exactly what we want. You need don't need to bend them out like crazy. You know, that one right there might actually be bent out a little too much. I can just tune that one back a touch. You just want it so that those points, you know, come in contact with the fish's mouth when he has it in his mouth. We don't, you know, he doesn't necessarily need to be biting down all the way. We just want to have contact so that when, you know, that fish closes his mouth, those hooks are going where they need to go. So that's about all you need to know. You know, if you're fishing in an area with really heavy structure and you go bending your hooks way out, you're going to be really frustrated with me for giving you this tip um, because you're going to hang up on every piece of structure out there. So, you know, you got to keep in mind, if you're fishing really thick stuff, Maybe you don't bend them quite as much. You just give them a little tweak. Um, that might be all you need. Other areas where you know you're going to be in a little bit more open water, um, you can bend them out a little bit more. And, it, you know, like I said, you just kind of have to play with it a little bit and see, um, see what's going to work best for your conditions. So <clears throat> bend those hooks out. Good luck, guys. Hope you catch them.